Jose Martinez. And I tell you, 6 o'clock this morning, this man had called me in and told me yesterday, we'll get out to bed, get to have crap seven. And look, he was the only white one there, I was the only black one there. <laughs> and they had four to 500 people that just, yeah, go, 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 that's for prayer service. All you I said they were there for prayer service on the Saturday morning. At 6 o'clock, they were there by 3. No, 4 to 500 people. I'm not exaggerating. That was just for prayer service. We can't even get people to come out and pray no more in some of our churches. Amen. Amen. And then you want the Lord to use you. The man of God coming, you want to look, we said, we want the Lord to do so much. We had not prepared. The way this is the money of one of God spoke to me. That's steady. Steady children's self approval. That's steady. That's preparation. Promotion without preparation, I always say suicide. Amen. Promotion without preparation is suicide. So, in conclusion, I thank God for the opportunity and the privilege and for the man of God. You know, God had this man. Never in my life. This is how the Spirit of just told me, give me a Rolex watch. I don't have one today. Give me a Rolex watch. What am I going to do? I'm not praying for no Rolex watch. Hey? <laughs> he wanted to take me to Haiti and pay for the first passport. I wasn't praying to go to Haiti because people over there, all that believe in the hoop, a lot of hoodoo. And I wasn't prepared. The Lord wasn't sending me voodoo and hoodoo. And I, I said, no, I'm not going. And I did not go. But when the Spirit of the Lord got ready, I hadn't prayed about it, I hadn't prayed about it. He, when the Spirit of the Lord, in the fullness of time, see, I just think about it for the folks say, before you call in and answer, why yes, speak to you here. But when God get ready, in the fullness of time, the lady for the folks say, when the fullness of time come, God was sent for me, sent him for, paid for me first class, for the go, want me to go first class, and then, was that not enough? Was that not enough? This man of God has ever given. He called us up to his house once, and other men of God had come up there. I wish my wife had gone because he had a business with the, with the business people. And when he got through, about 20 minutes, about a half hour, he gave everybody $500. I said, I wish my wife had come on and they got another $500. <laughs> Amen. She stayed. He just gave it just by being there. Now you say, what am I boasting? Yeah, he that glory, let him glory in the Lord. Yeah, yeah. He that glory, let him glory in the Lord. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. I'm going to tell this last one. And I just put the pastor permission. With Pastor Park, because he gave me part of it. Pastor here, and the Lord, that just had me. Don't never ask me to talk. Because <laughs> the Holy Spirit gets to working with me, and I just go. I know protocol. I know procedures. Amen. But the Spirit of the Lord, when he talks to me, I do everything, Colossians 3 17, whatever you do in the word of the do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God and God's name. Now let me say, I'd just like to have him with your permission, Pastor, with your permission. It's your permission today. And before I say that, about you all, the honorees and guests of the Holy Spirit today, on display, and have a word. May I say this here, is that I prayed and then spoke. What you said here. You know you have to wait on the Lord. I call you things. They wait on the Lord. Share with me that strength. Wondering about how I can go to my son-in-law the Lord and ain't nothing he wouldn't do for his father-in-law. He called my dad. I called him son. Nothing he wouldn't do. He wouldn't keep nothing from me that was in his power. Amen. Fellowship, finance, whatever it is. Now that's good to be able to say that. I've never been turned down. Lord praying to the Lord. You know, a lot of people just through the what you call the COVID-19, what we call it, the, the pandemic. Yeah. And the government blessed a lot of people that you can put your notes and your rent on the end or give you what they call pay the fuck. You can be a man of God, a woman of God, like he's saying, but you can have these issues of law. What am I going to do? Where the money going to come? Come on now. Everybody ain't praying for you. Everybody's not going to give you. Everybody's not going to help you that's saved in the church. Everybody living next door to you, not been a neighbor, ain't speaking to you. A lot of people in the neighborhood, you don't even know. 
I go out and God because I'm Pastor Galloway, Prophet Galloway, Bishop Galloway. Uh, my neighbor Holy Spirit tell me, he said, when the godless man comes, go take these by seven people, go bring the godless man back up to the house. If the Holy Spirit wasn't doing that, he wouldn't leave. What would you do like that? I might go to a baby, I don't curse to curse you out. And I don't curse come on out. You're going to ask me to take your garbage can up to the, I'm being just here, but that's the natural man, but the spirit man. Now, can you see, I'm out there taking the neighbor's garbage can. When they got children, that they're sitting outside and say, but because it's an assignment, because he said, do it. Right. Can you do it? Amen. Whatever he tells you to do. If he tells you, can you do it? Are you humble enough to go beyond what title, what possession, what kind of house you live in, what kind of car you drive? Yeah. Can you do it? I'm praying here. And hear the Lord, how are we going to come and get this one? I know it. I know something you tell me. But I don't bless me because I got to tell what the Lord do for me. I have to tell. I don't tell at all. I don't tell how much. But you got to tell the blessing. You got to, you got to give thanks to the Lord. You got to praise him. You got to talk about him. Talk to him before you talk about him. Oh, yeah. So you got to talk to him before you talk about him. You got to tell people how good he is. This man, the Holy Spirit sent him. Come to the house in the midst of all of this. Sit down with one of his workers. That whom the Spirit of the Lord told him to give up teaching the school to him, I'm going to give you, I'm saying this, I'm just talking about the Lord, $100,000 a year, I'm going to give you a salary. At the same time, he ain't coming to my house and I'm taking out a check because the Spirit of the Lord, now, I'm talking about what the Spirit of the Lord tells you to do. God will watch you. I know the end of Psalm 37, 32 said, the enemy watches right, see, to him. But why the enemy watches you? The heaven watches are watching your enemies. Come on, come on, come oh, on. You hear what I said? Come on. Yeah. While the enemies watching you, heaven and watchers are watching them when you go out day or night, you get worried about people coming up on you. If they come up on you today, you can't die until your time comes. You cannot die until your time comes. Psalm 1870, I shall not die but live in the cloud. That's what uh Mark John John what John was saying. The Spirit of the Lord had them to write out in our house to me and my family. For the house note, and when you get behind, you know, and when they enter, when you get, you got to go pay your insurance, the mortgage coming will get insurance for you. They don't be trying to get the cheapest, amen. Oh, you know, with those of you that are buying that bought house, you know what I'm talking about, amen. Right. Spirit of the Lord had him to come. Thank God for his wife to come. If he didn't have a kind of wife, he had the way he did. She'd have been walked off of him and put him in <laughs> He wrote out a check for $22,000 said every month. The Spirit of the Lord told me, now listen, not him. He said the Spirit of the Lord told him to pay our house note for the next 12 months and wrote the checks out and gave them to the cash on the night of every month. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. You can pray and pray and fast and read and your neighbor, your friend, your enemies, you can't even go to the bank and kind of be bargained. Oh, Lord. But the Lord through him, he got people. I just want him to say, hell of a word. Amen. Would that be all right? That'd be all right. Coming up here, he said, but I ain't not keep telling you. He stopped at the bank and gave him money. The Lord told me what to give there. Then he comes back. I got to go to the bank. I got to give, get money to give here. I got to give this and give this. And he said, I got to give Cody something. I said, give Cody what? You don't need to know Cody was coming. He said, no. I said, well, Cody told me, Papa, I'm going to come up and be with you today. I just want to spend time with you. And then the Cody Lord spoke to him. He said, I got to give Cody X five dollars I said, did you know Cody was coming? He said, no. See, when you are a giver, give, you got to pray for people who are giver because they are give and give. Rich people got to be praying for because the more you give, if you don't come in, you become the and you got to pray for people that God uses as a giver that it will keep coming to us and they can keep giving. Amen. 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 The Lord's going to do something today. Can we turn it down just a little bit? You know, this morning, the Lord woke me up at 3 this morning. I was praying for you. Thursday night at the men's group, and I've known Pastor Bruce 25 years probably, pretty close. 
first credit card I ever received was a transfer. She said, you're going to go on a toy account down there. And just in a couple of years, I went from painting houses, having a business with a lot of people. Thursday, the men, you know, they pray at the end of the men's group, and I usually just kind of, if I'm assigned a prayer, I'll pray. If I'm not assigned, I just kind of sit down and pray in the spirit and agree with those who are praying. And I felt like there was some things with Cody's life that the Lord's about to make him a pillar for the revival that's coming in this house. And this morning, I, yesterday I told Bishop, I said, if you'll come with me tomorrow, I know that God's going to use you in two places. The Spanish church, there was hundreds of people there, six in the morning. And uh, I said, well, after that, we'll come to this church. But at three this morning, so I, I prayed for Cody some prophetic things that the Lord had, had, had uh, put in my heart. I didn't know this, but yesterday, Bishop and I were talking, he goes, I called Cody that morning and gave him some prophetic confirming essentially the same thing. So Thursday morning, his grandfather speaks a prophetic word over his grandson. And I didn't feel good at all Thursday. My sinuses hurt. I laid in bed for three hours. We've got almost 50 houses under construction. I've got people going everywhere, things going on. And my wife said, well, just, just rest tonight. And I said, no, I need to go to management because God's going to do something amazing. I want to be a part of that. Whatever God does, I just want to be a part of it. I'll sit over here, I'll sit back there, I don't care. I just want to be part of it. And you can't talk to me today. Why don't y'all pray in the spirit quietly and we'll kind of just agree with it. This morning, I woke up right here, so I'm making notes in my prayer journal, right? So I woke up this morning at 3 a.m., so I'm making notes. And the Lord's been doing this today in my life since last September. I had forced myself to go to bed early because if I go to bed early, I don't have an excuse to be tired in the morning to work. This morning, I said, I pray for, I don't, I don't, you know, I really never story. I said right here, I pray for Bishop McLeod. I'll write some time short, but then I'll write I pray for Bishop McLeod, complete wholeness in his body, and complete wholeness in his ministry. I pray complete wholeness. I saw you the other night. I was driving to Mentor, and I thought you would be here. And when I was driving here, what I saw while I was driving is I saw you preaching, and I saw young men while you were preaching standing behind me. It was just almost as you said, in the old days, the young men would sit in the front row and watch you from a distance. But what I saw you I was so excited about meeting you Thursday night to share what the Lord had shown me while I was driving, but you weren't there. But while you were ministering on the stage, I saw a young man standing behind you while you're preaching and while you're praying. And normally they sit in the front row, but I see you raising up young men that will stand right beside you and right behind you while you pray and preach. So they can see the people of God. They can see the power of God right there front and center. Let's just pray in the Spirit just for about one minute, and then I'm going to turn it back over. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, raise up the sons and daughters. Raise up your prophetic sons and daughters in this generation, Lord. 
Are there open to finances to those who love you? Father, those who will fund the gospel in Jesus' name, Lord. Father, raise up those who will open the checkbook and fund the gospel to the nations. I thank you for what you're going to do in Bishop McLeod's life. I thank you that the revival that's in his heart is yet yet to be rebirth. It's going to be greater than you've ever imagined. That blind eyes will see, deaf ears will hear, missing limbs will appear. For your name, sake, Lord. I pray that millions of dollars are coming to your hands to help fund you go around the world. I pray that the Lord would use you in a way that you only, de only desire in your heart alone in your prayer closet. That he would send you to nations and places and cities and churches, Lord, where even if it's not filmed, the name of Jesus is exalted. So show up at events that you were even invited to. They don't even know who you are. And God will set you on fire with the Holy Ghost with signs and wonders. And that you'll walk out the door and they'll never know who you are. May this general Lord raise up many in this season. Pay the price of time and dedication for your name's sake.